homemade flour tortillas. Growing up, me and my cousins constantly used to hear, una buena mexicana sabe hacer sus tortillas de harina. Translated, that means, you know a Mexican girl knows how to make flour tortillas. Maybe back in her day. There's a funny Mexican myth, by the way. If a Mexican girl doesn't know how to make tortillas de harina, she's not gonna get married. That ain't true, honey, for all of us. Making tortillas is super simple, but it's a delicate process with the ingredients. You gotta get the right measurements in order to produce consistent results every single time. And honey, I ain't no eyeballing measuring pro. It took me so many years to get a recipe where I could produce consistently good results every single time. So I have that recipe here for you guys. It takes just five simple ingredients. I've listed all the measurements down below in the description box for you guys. If you wanna know how this Mexican girl here makes her flour tortillas for her family, stay tuned. all-purpose flour, baking powder, salt. Using a standing mixer, I'm going to combine all of my dry ingredients with the dough hook. Slowly integrate the water and the oil. Once you notice that your dough is really smooth, if you look around the bowl, you're gonna notice that it's pretty clean. It's a really good indication that your dough is ready. Using a damp tea towel, cover your bowl that has your dough and let the dough rest for 30 minutes. Transfer your dough to a clean working surface sprinkled with flour. Cut your log out into equal parts. Using the same damp tea towel, I'm going to cover my dough to make sure it doesn't dry out while I work this into a shape. So after rolling your dough into a ball shape, you're going to place it on your tortilla press, cover with parchment paper, and the parchment paper is going to help with the transfer. Press. The perfect tortilla, ready for the pomán or your skillet. Using your rolling pin, you're just going to transfer it straight onto your coma. Set your heat to a medium-low flame. So I'm going to let my cast iron skillet let it heat up for a few minutes before I start placing my tortillas on it. But here's the fun fact. This comal is probably older than I am. Depending how thin you've rolled your tortillas, anywhere between 20 to 45 seconds, you're ready to flip. To let this side go for a little shorter. You can actually press it down so you want it to cook evenly. And this tortilla is done. My oh, grandma boy. would be proud of you, honey. Of course, look it. It's a circle <laughs> somewhat. Somewhat circular. It doesn't matter as long as you try and it tastes good. There. It's okay. I, that's how mine started when I was first learning. It's yeah, okay. Mine, mine is better, but it's okay. <laughs> Alright, honey, so you can flip it because you have a lot of big bubbles now. There you go. No, don't pop it. But when you see those bubbles, that means you're gonna actually have soft flour tortilla. So what you do is just kind of press to distribute the air throughout the tortilla. Transfer it. Sí. So there you go. You made yours a little too big, but that's okay. So here are the tortillas, guys. We've got about 16 of them. They're really soft and malleable. So these guys go great with any Mexican meal on the side. So I have my husband's dinner here. I've got his plate of carne asada, some guacamole on the side, pico de gallo, sour cream, and of course his favorite, Valentina. Mira mi niño bonito, va a comer. Mm, bien mexicano. When I first got married, I told them, don't be expecting homemade tortillas from me every day because it's just not going to happen. Sure, good. Mm -hmm. A lot of Asian like Mexican food. That's true. Who doesn't like Mexican food? A lot of flavor. A lot of flavor, mucho sazón. Mm -hmm. 